What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. As you guys can tell by today's video title, today we're doing another hairstyle video. I haven't done one in a while and I'm so excited. As you guys know, hairstyles is like one of my many, many series that I have going on on this channel at all times. So if you guys haven't checked out my previous hairstyle videos, I'll have a whole playlist in the eye. For today's video, however, I thought I would do a really quick and easy hair tutorial for four different hairstyles for summer. These are perfect hairstyles for any hair length that you may have have any hair texture these are completely heatless and honestly they're just really good at getting your hair out of your face when it's hot if you guys are new here and you guys haven't seen my face before hi I'm Roxy welcome to my channel if you want to stick around be sure to subscribe down below but if you guys want to recreate some of these hairstyles and without further ado let's get into it all right so for the very first hairstyle we're actually going to be keeping our head down and just kind of spicing up these little wispy bits right by the face and keeping them out of your face so first thing what you want to do is you want to grab a section of your hair right by your face maybe something like this I'm gonna take that strand of hair separate it into three pieces like so and then I'm gonna start braiding that I'm just gonna be using a very generic Dutch braid just like the most simple braid that you can think of once you've braided your hair to this sort of stage you want to tie it off with a clear elastic tie or one that matches your hair color next thing what you want to do is you want to take that first layer of hair out of the way and then reach in for another section of hair Hair right near your ear and then you want to section that off into a little ponytail and tie it down about here you will see why we're doing this in just a moment so once you have that little ponytail you actually want to make a little loop inside it so that you can actually weave the braid right through the hole does that make sense I'm literally just gonna grab the braid through and pull it through that little loop that we've created I'm then gonna raise that little hair tie to really tighten the braid into place and then cover my hair over the top just like that as you can see that has just really nicely gotten rid of that hair out of my face while still keeping my hair down and it just means that I don't have to tuck my hair behind my ear which is kind of annoying I absolutely love the way this looks so let's replicate it to the other side as well so once again I'm just taking that strand of hair and we're gonna be braiding this down I'm splitting that into three sections and now we're just gonna braid 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 you can make the braid slightly like larger if you want but personally I quite like the dainty effect so I've made mine a lot thinner so now that my braid is done I'm now just gonna reveal that lower section of my hair right by my ear I'm just gonna grab it and form it into a ponytail and then we're repeating that same thing I'm making a hole through the ponytail looping the braid through and then tightening up that elastic tie oh my gosh how cute does that look I'm honestly obsessed it's such a dainty and easy hairstyle it literally took me less than five minutes and I'm good to go I I feel like this hairstyle would be really cute for school. It's so easy and so simple, but just really effectively gets that hair out of your face. But I guess it's now time to move on to hairstyle number two. Moving on to the next hairstyle. For this one, we're gonna be doing a half up do, half down do. I feel like this hairstyle looks really elegant on anybody. It's once again getting your hair out of your face while still having your hair down. And all in all, it's super simple to do. So let me show you guys. First up, if you're like me and you have some shorter pieces of hair right by your face framing it, you wanna pull the those out first so that they're not getting lost in the hairstyle so just like that I'm gonna be leaving these two strands out of the hairstyle we're now gonna focus on this upper half of the hair what you want to do is you want to take two thumbs and you want to literally just kind of do this motion and sweep your hair up as you're doing this you really want to gather as much of the hair as possible and you kind of want to go in an upwards motion I'm now just grabbing everything with one hand and then separating that hair to make a nice and neat kind of you know distinction between the two hair pieces I'm now gonna start gathering the hair into a neater sort of ponytail if that makes sense for this you can use your fingers or you can use a paddle brush whichever you're more comfortable with but ultimately Ultimately, you definitely want to use a paddle brush to really smooth everything down and get that really nice lump-free finish. Okay, so now that you have gathered your hair into a really nice smooth kind of finish across the head, then I'm gonna take a hair tie that matches your hair color and secure that down. Now the height that you tie your ponytail is honestly up to you. You can have it slightly higher on your hair, you can have it lower, but obviously this will dictate how high or how low your actual bun is gonna be. Now obviously you could leave your hairstyle like this, just with a ponytail I think that looks really cute as well however we are gonna go a step further 
other. So what you want to do is you want to take that ponytail and split it into three sections and then start braiding this. Once you've braided it all the way, you then want to start forming this into a bun just by wrapping it round over and over around the base of the ponytail. Now to secure this down, I am going to use a hair tie as well as bobby pins just because I really want it to be nice and tight and in place all day long. And this is the finished hairstyle. This is what it looks like from the back as well as the front. Honestly, I'm obsessed with it. As you can see, it really nicely gets everything out of your face, apart from obviously the pieces that frame it. If you have a lot of hair and you want to have your hair down for summer, I feel like this hairstyle is way more manageable because basically only half of your hair is really down and touching your neck. That's why I really like this hairstyle for me personally because I have a lot of long hair, so it just makes my hair a little bit more breathable, if that makes sense. Every time I do this hairstyle, it makes me feel like a princess. I love it so much. But now let's move on to hairstyle number three. Okay, so the next hairstyle is a really cool twist on a low ponytail. This one is again super easy and really quick to do, but it just looks like you've put so much effort into it. So first up, we're gonna be starting out by putting all of our hair towards the back. We're now gonna start out by taking two sections of hair on either side of the head and leaving the middle section the largest. You wanna secure each of these sections with a hair tie. Once you've done that, the next step is to take the left section and split it into like a little loop once again. It should be big enough to poke your index finger and your thumb through it and be able to pull that middle large section through the ponytail. So once you've done that, you then wanna take the right section and you wanna do the same step. However, this time we're actually gonna rotate that strand of hair, as you can see, and then we're gonna pull the entirety of both of those sections through that loop. This should create this really cool twist effect right above the ponytail. And then what you wanna do is merge all those ponytails into one master ponytail by just wrapping it all with one hair tie. I absolutely love this hairstyle so much. It's so easy to recreate. Honestly, I feel like you don't even need a mirror to do this. This hairstyle is practical for so many different occasions. You could wear it to work, you could wear it to school, or even to a wedding. I just think it looks really cool on any texture of hair, but if you do wanna curl your hair, I feel like it'll look even better. And honestly, Honestly, this is a great base for any kind of hairstyle that you might want to do afterwards. You could totally chuck your hair up into a bun. Okay, and now for the very last hairstyle, we're going to be doing a little messy updo. First up, what you want to do is you want to actually change up your parting. I've currently got a middle parting, but that's about a change. Now, if you want to figure out where the best place to have your side parting is, what you want to do is grab your comb and just literally line it up with the arch of your eyebrow and then basically follow that line. Mine looks to be best about here. So I'm just going to create that parting and keep all of my other hair out of the way. Once you have that line, what you then want to do is start to create almost like a triangle shape. So I'm going down from the point of where I want my fringe to be. If you see, I've created this line here, but what I want to do now is create a line that goes down like this. So essentially, this is kind of the shape that you want to create. A triangle that goes up to a point and then it kind of goes to the other point where your eyebrow is. I'm now going to keep this out of the way for the rest of the hairstyle. And I'm now gonna take the remainder of my hair and scrape it up into a really high ponytail. Sometimes it's easier to actually just flip your head over upside down and gather your hair up and really scrape it into shape. So when you're at this stage, you literally just wanna keep scraping your hair up and up higher and higher and just making sure that as you do this, you're getting rid of any lumps and bumps. Okay, so now that I've gathered up all my hair and I'm happy with how tight my hair is, I'm now gonna gonna secure it into a high ponytail with a really thick and tight hairband. I emphasize the thick and tight because you definitely don't want this ponytail moving throughout the day. Okay, so now that my hair looks like this, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna twist it and basically create a little bit of a bun, but not all the way. Depending on the length of your hair, obviously I've got quite long hair, so I kind of wanna leave this amount of hair out of the bun. I'm gonna secure the bun down with an elastic tie as I normally would. So from behind, it should look something like this. Now this next step might work better on slightly more textured hair. Obviously I have quite straight hair, so I don't really know how well this is gonna work out, but we're gonna try. You wanna take the remainder of your hair and 
and start kind of playing around with it and sort of pinning it really messily into place. Because I have really straight hair, I'm actually gonna back comb my hair a little bit. You definitely want this to be quite a messy sort of updo. So next step, what you wanna do is you wanna kind of take little bits of hair at a time. You wanna twist them round and almost create like a little loop and then pin it down to your head. Like I said, this is gonna be way easier with textured or curly hair because you already have that volume. However, we are having to literally recreate that volume from scratch. So you wanna work in a little sections at a time and basically just keep looking in the mirror, look from the front, look from the back and see how it looks. It's no different than shaping a bun. You basically just are doing it over and over again with loads of different strands. Okay, so once I'm at this sort of stage where I'm semi happy with the shape of all these little loops on my head, I'm now gonna take care of the fringe section. So I'm gonna let this loose. Now this step would actually be a lot easier if I already had quite a short like fringe, but this is like my full length of hair. So obviously I can't just leave it like this. I'm gonna have to kind of like incorporate this into the hairstyle. So first up, I'm gonna scrape it back. I'm gonna make sure it's nice and smooth all throughout. And I'm literally just going to tuck it behind my ear like so. If you want to, you can pin this into place right behind the ear. And now we have this leftover strand of hair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take it round the back and and twist it around the base of the bun. And now to smooth down any flyaways, I'm just gonna use this little hair stick to really make sure that everything's nice and slick. All right guys, so here we are. Here is the finished hairstyle. I feel like I managed to fake that volumized kind of curly look pretty well. I absolutely love how this turned out. It looks so put together and so cute. I feel like this hairstyle might have taken me a little bit longer than the previous ones. This took me about 10 minutes, but honestly, it is so worth it because I feel like it looks really cute. All right guys, so that was everything for today's hairstyle video. I hope you guys enjoyed these four different easy summer hairstyles. Let me know in the comments which one of these hairstyles was your favorite and if you recreate any of them, be sure to tag me on my Instagram or Twitter. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful and enjoyable. And like I said, if you wanna see any more hairstyle videos, I have a whole playlist in the eye. I've done literally like probably a hundred videos on this channel about hair. But yeah, that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mwah.